Hi everyone, it's Jeff. We're going to have some fun today. But first of all, I want to apologize. A little misleading on the title. I titled this Connecting Two Model 100s. I don't have two Model 100s. I've got one Model 100 and a Model 102. But um, the, the titles on YouTube get a little lengthy. And... Uh, not all devices show the whole title, so I didn't want to say connecting a Model 100 and a Model 102 because a lot of people viewing this won't see the full title. So connecting two Model 100s just sound better, and as we know, the 102 is, for all intents and purposes, a 100. Except for it's got that really cool I.O. bus out in the back there, but in any event, uh, what we're going to be doing is connecting these two in the terminal program, it's real easy. The only additional thing you need, uh, besides the two Model 100s or 102s, is a null modem cable. Now, um, they're still available these days. This isn't the RS-232 null modem ca cable. You can get them on eBay, you can get them on Amazon. Um, some are um, Some give you a converter that you just put over the end of a normal uh, RS-232C or RS-232 cable. I think what a null um, modem cable does is it, it switches uh, pins 2 and 3. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong about that. But whatever it does, uh, or whatever is needed to be done, it's done by this cable. So um, we've got the null modem cable uh, hooked up to the RS-232 ports in both, um, in both devices. And uh, as you can tell from each device, we're uh, up at the menu. So what we're going to be doing is going into the terminal program for each of the uh, devices. So we'll just key over there. We're on that one, and then we'll key on this one, on the 102. So we're both in the telecom program at this point in time. Now, there's one thing that you need to note. Pardon my reflection. In the upper left-hand corner, you'll see um, you'll see a code. That code needs to be the same on both devices. Now, as you probably notice, the 102 says 38N1D. And the 100 says 58N1D. So basically, the 3 and the 5 is defining the baud rate. The, um, the baud rate on the 100 is currently set at 600, and the baud rate on the 102 is set at 300. What we want to do is to change that so they're equal. You do that by uh, pressing F3, which, as you can tell from the menu underneath, is stat. So uh, that allows us to change the status. The only thing we have to do is type in what we want it to be. So in this case, we want to be 5, 8, and 1, D. Press return. And now we are 5, 8, and 1, D. At this point, the next step would be to press F4, which is the terminal button. So we Press them on both devices, and we are now in terminal mode for both devices. And as you can see, the bottom, you see it says half under, or I should say above, the notation for F4. Well, that means that we're at full duplex. We want to be at full duplex, so we echo in both devices. Uh, it says half because if we wanted to change to half, we press F4 and we would change to half. Now let's stay um, at full duplex, and I'm going to type a little here. And you'll notice it came out here. Let me type from the other device and you'll see it come out. And you can tell that 
it's coming out what we're, we're typing is coming out from both devices if, if I type something from the 102 you'll see it come out here so really that's all you have to do in order to hook them up to each other they're now communicating imagine the fun that those folks from the 80s had sending each other secret messages and and all sorts of stuff back then back in the day with these devices hooked up like this The other thing I want to show you is how to exchange a text file between the two devices. Now, in reality, we're really not exchanging text file. We're creating the text file on one device and downloading the contents of another text file into the new file that we created. But for all intents and purposes, it's exchanging a file between the two devices. Now, we'll need to go into our term or telecom program for each device and then we'll press F4 to go into the terminal mode for each device now what we'll do is we'll start at the 102 because the 102 is where we're going to be receiving the text and creating the file we're going to um, press F2 for download and it asks us the name of the file we want to download. Now, I've got a file over on the 100 named test1.do. We don't have to name it that, but for this, I will, for this demonstration, I will name it test, or actually test1.do. And I'm going to press enter. And the 102 is waiting. Now, what we have to do is go over to the 100. We're going to press F3, up. And it asks us which file to upload. We're going to put test1.do and press enter. And then it asks us, well, what width do you want to send it at? Because um, it can send it at different widths depending on the terminal program that we're sending it to. Now we know that the 100 and the 102 have a 40 character width, so that's the value we're going to enter. So when I do that, I'm going to press enter over here, but I'm going to show you the screen here, because the screen of the 100 is not going to do anything. When I press enter, what you see is text going across the screen. What happened is that the 100 transmitted the text of the file test1.do to the 102 and the 102 captured it and put it in its file. Now what we're going to do with 102 is we're going to press F2 again and take it out of download mode and you'll notice that the 100 is already out of upload mode. So what we'll do is exit the telecom and we're going to exit the um, and we're going to exit to the main menu and you'll see that now we have a file by the name of test1.do and that the contents are what transmitted so there's many different ways to transfer files between devices and terminal programs this is just one I just want to do a little demonstration about the two devices and how they can easily communicate to each other so, I hope you guys have a good day.
and we'll see you next time.